so today I was going to do like a more seated meditation, although you're very welcome to lie down for it if you like. Um, and the main thing is that you can be comfortable and breathe and be relaxed, but alert at the same time. Um, so we can go ahead and begin our practice. Find a seat that is comfortable for you, and it can be anything at all, really. You can be leaning against a wall. I often practice, especially in the morning, leaning against a wall, just to kind of make the spine long without any particular effort. But um, I quite like to place something underneath the sit bones. So I'm just sitting on a wee blanket right now, um, so that you can be comfortable. Now, let your hands rest on the knees, if you're going to be sitting. And again, it's your choice whether you would like to be more receptive, the palms can face up. And if you'd like to be more grounded, the palms can face down. Now here, if it feels okay for you, you can close the eyes. Otherwise, you can allow the gaze to be soft. Let the gaze rest low. And um, the intention here is to allow your attention to come inwards. So the idea behind tonight's practice is something I've been exploring with some teachers recently. And I think it's quite relevant to what we're navigating out there in the world, since we're all in our houses, isolated. There, there's a danger of feeling disconnected. Ironic because the very fact that we're so connected, um, you know, biologically, physically, through our health, and through our society, that's why we actually have to isolate. So here, we aim to re-establish a feeling of connection with, with each other, with humanity, with the world. But we begin with ourselves. I'm sure you've experienced at times when Things have just come together and you feel great. Your body and your mind and your heart all feel aligned. The desire to go out and be nice to people is much greater. So in yoga, that's what we do. We tune our inner instrument. We bring all our parts into harmony so that we can go out and be in more harmony with the world. So let's begin with our, our parts. As we sit in our seat, we allow ourselves to make space for the breath by letting the sit bones be grounded or anything that's touching the floor, let it be grounded. If you're sitting upright, you can let your shoulders stack over your hips. If you're lying down, you can just soften the shoulders, soften the face, soften the belly. Wherever you are, soften the belly. So that we can allow the breath to come in. You can take one deeper inhale. And as you do so, let it begin at the base of the belly. Let it spread its way around the side of the ribs to the back, wrapping around the shoulders, down the arms, down the legs, filling up all the way to the crown of the head so that your breath explores all of the parts of you and gathers them as one. And as you exhale, you soften all of you. So that the floor can hold you, so that your limbs can soften and release. So again, take another deep breath in. 
and soften the breath out. As you soften the breath out, soften your body out. Make yourself so spacious that as you next breathe in, you can hear the texture of your own breath. So if we want to tune our instrument, how do you tune a musical instrument? You have to open your ears and listen. So let the breath circulate around you and let your, your gaze turn inwards and let your, your sense of hearing turn inwards. Sensitize yourself inwards to sensation. And that can begin with how you feel in your body at this time in the evening, after the day. How it feels to sit in this position or lying. You can maybe feel the texture of the air against your skin. But also feeling how the body is lifted and drops away as you breathe. So allow the breath to come and go so that it moves smoothly through you. Here rather than thinking about I'm inhaling, I'm in exhaling, can you sensitize yourself to what makes up, what sensations make up the inhale? What sensations make up the exhale? So it becomes a much more subtle experience. We start to inquire inwards. So allow your body to feel as it wants to. And don't judge what you encounter. So whether you feel aches or tightnesses or something like that, or the residue of the day's activities, allow that to be without forcing. And how does the breath want to move? How does the body want to breathe? Can we open and allow the breath to move as it wants to? Now as you make space, inevitably what the mind does is populate itself. So just notice as activity arises in the landscape of the mind. Notice as maybe memories from the day pop into your head. Do opinions and judgments come through you? The mind is a beautiful, active thing. You can be grateful for that. And instead of berating yourself for, ah, oh, I'm thinking again, I should be meditating, you can soften and thank the mind for its activity. And with friendliness, you can, as each thought pops in, you can go, thank you, and allow it to pass on. Know that if the thought is something you need or want to come back to, there's plenty of time for that after. But now is the time for listening in to you. So here we make space 
we make space in the body for the breath, we make space in the mind, in the heart, so that we can look a little deeper and notice with compassion, are there any parts a little bit deeper down which have felt unheard and which would like to grab your attention? Now in this practice, know that you don't have to do anything. In fact, the less that you do, the better, the more you can soften and be present. Just as when you come to a friend with problems, most often you don't want them to give you a list of action points. You want to be heard. So allow yourself and the deepest parts of you to be heard. It's a sacred practice, this, to make space without judgment and to be there for yourself. And if you do automatically hear something that some action may need to be taken, know that you don't have to do that now. And also if you don't know what to do, you don't need to work it out now either. So powerful just to listen in and to hear. Let the deepest parts of you guide you so that maybe unloved and unheard parts that we have maybe squashed, when all the parts of us work in harmony, we can go out and live with ease. So sit with yourself. Welcome your breath. Welcome your physical experience. Know that everything you feel is valid and important. And the more you can open up to whatever comes, the more information you have to fine tune your experience, your reactions. So part of this practice is just opening and softening. As the breath slows and stills, maybe the top level of the busy mind becomes a little softer. And even if it doesn't, all the better because you have plenty to listen to.
if one thought or one train takes you away, if you get caught up in it, notice that you've done so. The breath allows us to come back to the present, to soften away from the fantasy. To make ourselves like a bystander. Bystander who with compassion softly notices What is the body asking for? What is the heart asking for? What are the secret yearnings of the deepest parts of you? And know that if no revelations appear, or maybe they're not formed in obvious words, then that too is just fine. The more you make space, the more things can gradually come out into the light. Know that by making space and breathing here, it's an invitation to ourselves So don't do anything, just be present. Be so present for yourself. Know that the more you do so, the more present you can be in your own life. the more present you can be for everyone around you. So listen in. as the breath circulates around all the parts of you. Let the whole of you come into harmony. Soften your body again. Let the breath in. Let the body breathe as it wants to breathe.
And let the breath in. And let life unfold. Know that you can act and be and live just as you need. And then in this very moment, in this present moment, in each moment that follows, So they start to deepen the breath. As you do so, let the breath nourish the whole of you. Let the breath flood in, irrigating the fields of your inner landscape. Let yourself be held in the pelvis by the floor. Let yourself be held by your attention. As you slowly come back into your body, you can join the palms. Give them a love. Bring activity back to the surface of the skin. And if you like, you can wash the hands across the face. Join the palms at the centre of the heart. For one last time, you can let the attention come inwards. You can make a pledge to yourself to listen in to the whisperings of your heart and all the parts of you. Know that by doing so, you do a service to yourself, but also to everyone around you. And let that ripple to the whole of our society and all the world, which needs it so much right now. So let's wish peace to everyone out there. Take a breath in. Release the practice and bow to yourself, bow for this evening. Om Shanti.